Good morning and welcome. This is our daily devotion for Friday, April 26th, as we continue on in this Easter season. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Today we are looking at the epistle reading for this coming Sunday, 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and is now in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are, they are from the world, therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Two things in there I need to address before I get to what I'm really talking about here. First, John mentions the Antichrist. Okay, now I need to specify that it's not the Antichrist. Okay, um, it, it, it's not a specific individual wearing that title. It is a way of thinking, it is a group of people that are anti Christ, they are against Christ. They are doing whatever they can to tear apart the message of the Christian church and the Christian faith. They are anti against Christ. That's really what Paul is addressing. We, are, we deal with, every single day, people who are against Christ and against Christianity. And they're seeking to undermine the message of the church and undermine the gospel. One of the biggest tricks people use today to pull people away from Christ is to get people to focus on the moral aspects of Christianity apart from the gospel. And Christians are quick to jump on that too because following God's word and, and, and seeking to live a life that's God-pleasing is something we do want to do. But we shouldn't fall into that trap of focusing on that morality when what we should be focusing on is the good news of Jesus Christ, the love of God. Now, the other thing, of course, I got to mention it, it's in, it's in the passage. How can I not talk about it? Propitiation. Propitiation means that all atoning once and for all sacrifice that Jesus made for the sins of all humanity throughout all time. Propitiation. It's a much shorter way of saying that big old phrase. So those two things come into play as we look at this passage and we think about this idea, greater love. Talked about love a little bit earlier this week and how we love a lot of other things and, 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 and we'll use that word way too frequently to the point where it's watered down. But this reading talks about a greater love and how the love that is in us because of Jesus Christ is greater than any kind of love in the world. Okay? So, so the world might have all kinds of twisted definitions of what love is. And a lot of times the world's definitions of love are very self-serving. They're actually not very sacrificial. Um, and, and even it's gotten to the point where in our world we've gotten comfortable with the term self-love and, and where we're focusing on just showing love to ourselves and not worrying about the world around us. That self-love, that whole concept, is one of the re things that makes, it, makes us broken. Because when we get so focused on ourselves and we don't focus on the greater love that God has shown us and reflecting that greater love out to the world, we, we get turned in on ourselves. And that turning in on ourselves kind of kind of leads to depression, to, to negative feelings, to negative thoughts. It's not a good place to go. I wouldn't wish for anyone to have to live in that kind of situation that being so focused on oneself lead, leads to be. Okay, so, so in this reading, John is telling us that we have this greater love of God living in us. And if we confess that Jesus is Lord, if we confess him as our Savior, 
We're also confessing this greater love that God has shown us through Jesus. And now we are called to take that love and pour it out into the world we live in. And here's a really cool thing. We can pour that love out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And maybe by Saturday, we're getting a little tired. We're getting a little drained. You know what we can do? What we get to do? What we're blessed to do? We are blessed to be able to come back to worship and be fed through word and sacraments, through the power of the Holy Spirit, so that we can go out and we can continue to demonstrate that greater love of Jesus Christ to a world that is broken and hurting and in desperate need of hearing about the love that only God can offer. May we be witnesses of that greater love, witnesses of our faith, witnesses of our Savior to the broken world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing us what greater love is, as you were willing to sacrifice so that we could be restored as your children. Work in our lives through the power of your Holy Spirit so that we can be reflections of your love to the world, so that they can see the hope that can only be found in you. Lord, in your Son's name, we ask you to work through us as your witnesses. Amen. You guys have a great day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning for our Saturday bonus devotion. Woohoo! See you then. Bye bye.